folks, Tom here again from Astronoob. Uh, thanks for all the astronomy love on my last processing video. I appreciate everybody so much for, for commenting and liking on it, and thanks for the new subs on the channel. This time I'm going to be processing a broadband target. Uh, it's Pinwheel Galaxy. Almost said Nebula there. Not Pinwheel Galaxy. And it's around... 6 hours 45 minutes, almost 7 hours I think from memory of mostly usable subs, those that knows me well, know me well um, know that I pretty much stack <laughs> most data that I can I've, I've obviously deleted some really really dodgy subs on here but I'm going to uh, crack on with this without further ado and let's jump in right, jump right in so uh, in this instance I've linked the channels actually not sure if that's a good idea or not, but I'm going to do an STF on this and just to reveal some of the colour in here, I'm also going to do a, an SPCC spectral photometric colour calibration, that's easy for you to say. I'm going to pop that triangle on there and it's going to go through its process and do its thing, catching a wee bit. Okay, that's done its thing, let's reduce some of the greenness to that which is fine um, at this stage I'm probably going to just actually I'm going to switch that off and I'm going to do a manual stretch on this now that I know what it looks like so I'm going to do a histogram transformation and I'm going to make sure I click the right one which is this one and do a real time preview and let's start stretching slow and steady slow and steady always remember to reset using the reset button and watch the data reveal itself on here I'm making sure that I don't move these little carrots I think they're called too far to the right and the left Make sure I don't stretch out too much of the data. And you can see it beginning to really, really reveal itself there. And hit reset. I'm going to do this one more time, just a little bit. And I'm going to leave it that. I'm happy with that. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just to... I'm not going to do an SCNR on this, actually. I'm just going to... Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to do a colour saturation. Yeah, I'm going to, just going to maybe try and reduce the green on that. So pop in a couple of points in here along that line, and I'm going to take. Oops, so there's a hat. Real time preview, and I'm going to take the green out if I can. Okay. Return. That's made no difference whatsoever. Actually, let me do you know what. Let me let me do an ABE. Pop that triangle on. Yeah, that's that's actually worked a lot better. I thought I was going to be clever there and use some of the color stretching tools to delete that, but that's to be fair. That's taken quite a lot of that away from there. So let's delete those other preview windows. And let's work on this. Okay, so what I've kind of worked out as well as um, also been given some advice from other amazing guys that are processing these images is not to do too many automatic background extractors because it can obviously delete and uh, remove some of the detail. So. I'm, not, I'm going to try and not do too much of this. What I'm going to do now is do a little dynamic crop. You can see there's some artifacts around here, um, which are stacking artifacts, I think. So I'm going to crop those out, actually, which will help further down the line with um, things like dynamic background extraction, which is which I might do, depending how this bit goes. 
I'm going to try and keep that little galaxy in there actually that one there so I'm going to hit OK crop that out now I am going to do a curves transformation um, a couple of people reached out and said I should probably try and separate the channels and do them individually but as I'm trying to keep this to 15 minutes that might not be the best idea but um, let's just reduce some of the I, I think this helps reduce some of the noise without doing an ABE or a DBE an automatic background extraction or a dynamic background extraction this seems to work might not be the best ideal way to do it but it certainly works for me and I'm going to hit that twice actually and I'll do a different histogram transformation let's get rid of that so that's beginning to look okay it's not too noisy if I'd done a automatic background extraction it might have had, actually had the opposite effect and added too much noise into that so I'm going to leave it at that I'm probably I'm going to leave noise exterminator this time till the end but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do I'm going to fix some of the stars they're not, not too bad actually to be fair but there's a little bit of um do you know what? They're not that bad actually. There's a tiny little bit of movement in there. It's, I don't think it might. I'm pretty sure it's not coma. I think it's just star trails. Um, I think from memory there's a little bit of wind. Excuse me. Um, when I was doing that um, session that night. But I'm going to fix the stars. And BXT Russ Coleman's tools are again absolutely tremendous. So I'm going to click correct only on there. I'm going to pop the triangle on. And that should make those stars just a little bit sharper. Let's see what happens. Catching a bit. Okay. Let's see what that's done. Yeah, yeah, that's fixed that a little bit. So what I'm going to do is switch that off now. I'm going to take sharpen non stellar down. I'm going to take that adjust star halos down just a little bit. I'm going to sharpen stars a little bit more. That will help too. I love this tool, it's such a great time saving tool. Um, particularly if your guiding hasn't turned out to be the best, um, or you've got a tiny little bit of coma going on. That's made that, you can see how much of a difference that's made already. Look at that. Yeah. It's even made SN 2023 IXF. Really, really great looking, which is fantastic. Okay, let's close that window. And um, let's see what we've got here. Okay, I'm going to... I'm act, I am actually going to do an SCR, SCNR. You can see there's a little bit of green tinge still around the edge there. I'm Just, just for speed, I'm going to pop that triangle on there. And that'll... That's made a massive difference. What it's also done, unfortunately, do you know what? I'm going to undo that. What it's also done is deleted some of the HA regions on, around the galaxy. I'm going to leave that back on, actually. Um, what I'm going to do is do another curves transformation. Hit the preview, pop in some points on the graph. Take that down take that up and do a, a very a very loose S curve that is definitely very loose I'm going to hit that again actually because that's turned out quite nice reset that delete that get rid of the real time preview Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's looking okay. The background's looking not too bad. I've not clipped the blacks too much. Um, normally I'm quite bad at clipping the blacks. Let me now do a BXT. Now let's sharpen some of the details in here. So again, I don't, I don't 
I try not to be too aggressive with this because it can really make it really noisy. So I'm going to keep it around halfway again. I haven't removed the stars yet. I'm going to keep them where they are. Um, and I'm going to keep those to factory settings. And I'm just going to drag that in here. This, this should help just pull out those details a little bit more in the dust lanes and the detail around this spiral galaxy. Um, Grand Design Spiral Galaxy, I think it is. Um, that will take a little bit of time to go through that. Um, and I'll catch you in a wee bit. Okay, back once again. Like the Renegade Master. Oh my god, I'm showing my edge there. Um, okay, that's looking not too bad, actually. Uh, normally what I'd do is probably begin to remove the stars um, so that I can mess around with some range masks. Um, I may keep that for another video. Um, range masks are, are fantastic, particularly for galaxies and things. Um, I'm going to see if I can pull out some of this um, IFN Integrated Flux Nebula, I think it's maybe called, um, which I think is it a reflection of the light from the Milky Way on this galaxy? Maybe somebody might correct me on that. Um, I think I can pull out some more detail in here. So let's have a little go and see if we can do that. Hit a preview. Yeah, see those um, little curve transformations are working really really well for this you can see it's beginning to pull this out now I might take that down just a little bit hit OK and reset close the real time preview let's do another curve transformation actually just to maybe pull out some of the luminosity on this again pop in three points Darken the background, pull up the middle, oh yeah that's looking nice, and not too much on the central core, hit OK, I'm gonna, that's enough I think, I think, let's delete that, delete that, ok let's do one final thing, let's just do a colour saturation and pull out some of those magenta or red HA or H2 regions. Pop in some points. Again, if you hold your um, crosshair over here, you'll see, it, yeah, it really shows you where the, the right bit is to pull up, hit a preview window. Let's pop that up point in there, let's pull that up, straighten that out, let's lift the blues out a little bit as well, those oxygen regions, and that actually makes the hydrogen regions look a little bit better as well, let's click OK on that, always remember to reset, though it doesn't matter because once you close the preview window, it'll go back to normal anyway. Okay, so again, let me let me just do a noise exterminator now because I think we're getting close to kind of 15 minutes. It might even be faster. Take the denoise down to about halfway, maybe just above halfway. Take the detail down, pop the triangle on, and that should reduce the rest of the noise on there. I'm gonna normally I do a no noise exterminator quite early on, but in this instance I'm I've left it deliberately till the end. Yeah, that's looking nice. I'll do one more SCNR because that'll take away that just that little bit of green haze around the edge there. Yeah, that's looking nice. That's looking okay. Not bad for 10 minutes or so. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that video as well and maybe picked up a couple of little tips. Um, again, thanks very much for the subs, thanks for the likes, and if you do have a chance to share it, um, please do 
Another little caveat, I'm not pretending this is the absolute be all and end all of how to use PixInsight because it certainly is not. This is just my little process and I hope you guys like it. Take care. Bye bye.